208 Horse Gym with Boots, Reverse Pins, Clip 2. Reverse pins enable protected contact with movement. If the horse loves met targets, we can start with those. Have the mats close together at first, then gradually further apart. Approaching the mat, use halt multi-signals, that's drop energy, breathing out, and your voice signal, which might be whoa or something else. And this time I'm asking for her shoulder to come over for change of direction. And I always click and treat for a turn, for a change of direction. And we walk on together to the next mat. I've used my walk on multi-signals. And we click and treat each arrival at a mat. If you have big area, you could use a series of mats. We can also use a handheld target. This target is a plastic bottle taped to a plastic tomato steak. Click and treat for targeting it. And then I'm using the target to change direction. I always click and treat for a change of direction. And I want to decide on number of steps before moving off. This time we did five steps and I'm counting my steps. So we click and treat after so many steps, remove the target, deliver the treat. And we use all the walk on multi signals, energy up, breathe in, voice and point the target to walk on. Nine steps this time. Ten steps this time. When teaching, start with one step and gradually add more. as the horse gets to understand what you're doing. And I'm using the target just for change of direction now. We can carry the target for the turns, but use only body language and voice for walk on. As usual, decide on the number of steps before the click and treat before moving off. Use your walk-on multi-signals, gesture, voice, energy up. Going to do six steps again. During a session, vary the number of steps before each click and treat. Ten steps this time. Gradually work up to 20 or more steps before the click and treat, which leads us to the 20 steps exercise. Now we're going to work toward body language and multi-signals only. No mats, no handheld target. Each time, still decide on the number of steps before you're going to click and treat, before you move off. Doing eight steps this time, plus a change of direction, and then a click and treat. If you can still run, this is a safe way to begin walk-trot transitions while leading. And a triple treat to end the session. She did a nice job on a very cold, windy day.